Hello, my name is Dr. J, PharmD. Today I want to talk a little bit about probiotics and some of their common uses. Who needs them and which ones work? The old idea with probiotics was to throw eight or ten different kinds into a pill, swallow it, and hope for the best. And sometimes this worked. But now we know a little bit more and we want to use specific types of bacteria to treat specific kinds of problems. One of the biggest problems in modern medicine, in my opinion, we've been so focused on killing bad bacteria, we've completely forgotten about the good bacteria we need to survive. There are 10 bacteria cells for every single human cell in, our, in the body living on us or inside of us. That's pretty important if you ask me. Bacteria can help us do three primary things. They can help crowd out bad bacteria to keep us healthy, they can help us digest our food, and they can even reduce inflammation in some cases. And we're just beginning to scratch the surface of how useful these little critters can be. The first condition I want to talk about today is called Irritable Bowel Syndrome, IBS. And we've had trouble treating this in modern medicine. It affects up to 20% of the population, so someone you know probably has this and the prescription medications just don't work that great. We don't know what causes it, except for maybe stress. A real breakthrough is this Bifidobacterium infantis, found in the product Align. It's actually been studied and found to reduce inflammation in the gut and relieve the symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome. So it's definitely worth a try if you or someone you know is suffering from this condition. The next big problem that we're having in the medical community is treating antibiotic diarrhea. There's two really good products that we can use to tackle this. The first one is a yeast. It's called Saccharomyces boulardii. It's found in the uh, product Floristore. And it's not killed by the antibiotics that you're taking, unlike some of the other bacteria. So it helps keep the good bacteria in your system and keep things under control. It's a very good product. The other product is Lactobacillus rhamnosus GG. That is found in the product Culturel. And a little pill of this contains 10 billion bacteria. This works too. We've got good studies for both of them. So I highly recommend these to all my patients that come in on antibiotics, especially if they're at risk for this kind of problem. The next thing I want to cover is female health. And primarily this is yeast infections and urinary tract infections. There's a couple other infections that women are prone to that these may help with. We've got the most evidence for Lactobacillus rhamnosus and Lactobacillus ruteri. The theory is that these will crowd out the bad bacteria in your system and just help the good bacteria grow there and prevent these infections. It's found in the product Femdophilus. It's been around for a long time and it works for a lot of people. We got a little more evidence on the yeast infection side of things. It might help with UTIs, but we just don't have the studies to show it yet. It's worth a try. These are very safe to use. There's a whole slew of other conditions that probiotics may actually prove to be useful for. That includes irritable bowel disease, and under that category is Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. We've got a lot of research on that. The next one is chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, eczema, mental health, oral health, all kinds of stuff that we're researching, a lot of it in animals first, and then we start testing it on people. Probiotics are safe, they've been used for a long time, and I highly recommend taking a look at them if you're having health problems. My name is Dr. J, that's been a five minute health clip, thanks for tuning in.